Hello everybody, welcome to Play with Jay. I've been struggling with installing Warzone through Battle.net for the past one week and I've been spending at least one to two hours every day but I haven't been able to install it. Every single time the installer crashes or I've not been able to download the installer and all sorts of those problems. And if you've been facing such kind of a problem where you're not able to install Battle.net or if you're not able to download the game I've come up with a solution, hopefully that helps you. This fixes uh, you know, almost all kind of problems. So this is the error that we get, either this or your download stops in between and it says that the installer is not able to find some file or launch a file or whatever. So this solution would fix most of these issues and still this is not a permanent one, I'm sorry about that. This is the best solution that I could make and I've also tried every single solution that's available on the internet, all the forums, all the YouTube videos, I've contacted Blizzard support, none of them helped. But this works as a temporary solution so please follow each and every single step of the video and don't skip because each and every single step is critical and I do not know how the solution is working so I don't know which step you can skip and which you cannot so better not to skip anything so first go to your my computer and before that delete the shortcut if you have any go into local C and click on view enable uh, hidden items go to program data battle.net blizzard entertainment delete both yeah you would have seen this already in some videos but hold your horses this is just the first step we are going to program files 86 delete the battle.net then windows key plus r and type percentage local app data delete this Close everything, open your registry editor. For that, again, Windows key plus R and R E G E D I T. Enter. And make sure that you take a backup of your registry because if you should delete anything else that is important, your system might become unstable. So be very careful about this. Click on Edit, Find battle.net check this box patch whole string find next you gotta find everything that's related to battle.net and you gotta delete those registry keys another way to do this easily would be to uh, use ccleaner click on registry scan for issues as you can see all the registry items are here which are not invalid. So if you do not have CCleaner, delete the whole tree. Yes. And if you press F3, that will find the next item in the registry that says battle.net. There it is. Delete again F3. Keep pressing F3 until you find all the battle.net and delete all of them. Or if you have CCleaner, just scan for issues, fix selected issues. Do you want to back up the registry? Yes. Click on my desktop, fix it, fixed, done. Now keep this backup if you should need it in the future. Alright, that's the first step. Next. you're gonna use this setup file not this one this is what I downloaded from the official site but this one doesn't seem to work I'll leave a link in the description where you can download this one so open this and open your task manager to Just when you see updating Blizzard agent, look for it in the uh, task manager. You should see another task that says update agent. Let's wait for it. 
but right now it didn't so what you need to do is even if this uh, pop-up box opens do not click on continue right click end this task first and if you see the updating agent there should be another task where it says agent right click on it end that task too and start this again right so this time we're gonna click continue and i did not change the install location just in case so better to leave it as it is and click continue wait till the installation finishes try not to run anything in the background and if the download starts and if it works fine try to leave it overnight for the download to finish there is a downside about this method uh, even if the download starts perfectly there is a chance that it can stop again after one hour or after six hours or eight hours it depends i'm not sure why that happens if the download stops again all you need to do is delete everything follow the whole steps all over again as shown in this video this is the third time i'm doing this i mean fourth time it already failed three times once it failed after 40 gbs have been downloaded and after that i was able to manage another 20 gbs and third time i was able to do only 5 gbs and now it's the fourth time so unfortunately this seems to be the only way right now there is no better fix as far as i can say and there is no official support that can actually help right so now we are in the login screen here use americas if you do not know which region to choose click on the drop down click on help me decide it will find your location and will show you which to use so for me it's americas so i'm gonna use americas and i'm gonna log in with my facebook or you can log in through your password if you do not have an account first go into the website and create an account so you'll be able to log into this page click on login now it should work it will work see close this no need to change anything and let's see and sorry about the uh, messy desktop I'm working on some videos I hope you don't mind let's wait for it there we go perfect all right as you can see I still have 16 GBs remaining out of uh, 80 GBs and my download speed isn't that much it's 3 Mbps right now and most of the time this drops to 1 Mbps which is normal I guess so if it's too low for you just leave it overnight try not to disturb this and try not to run any background applications because as long as I left this alone it was working fine and then I started a video game and then it crashed so I'm not exactly sure what's causing this problem and I'm also not sure how this solution works it looks weird but I'm just glad it worked for me and I'm not sure if the uh, game starts I will post another video uh, if there's another if there's any other issues and I'll mention it in the description of this video if at all if my game fails for some reason but for now this solution is working perfectly i hope this fixes your issue too if it did please consider subscribing to the channel as you can see i'm just a startup youtuber and i could use your support so please do hit that subscribe button and if you have some suggestions or questions leave them in the comments i'll try to address them as quickly as possible and that's it for this video i'll catch you guys in another video until then it's bye from jay thanks for watching